As of a year ago, I've lost more warriors to suicide than were killed in combat. Mm -hmm. and I've lost a lot of very close friends, brothers of mine, to this. And I went through a time in my life where I talked myself out of eating a bullet for a year. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't even be talking to you. But yeah, there's a huge stigma because we're warriors. Right. You know, we don't talk You're about neck You're not supposed to struggle with anything, right? Absolutely. Anything neck down, game on. We can play that. You know, we can fix a broken arm, sprained ankle, whatever. Mm -hmm. We can talk about it, all good. Don't talk about neck up issues or anything going in between the six inches of your ears because that's a sign of weakness and mm -hmm. warriors don't do that. Another issue that I have though as well is issues with the VA and issues with our medical system. Really? Pushing. It's weird. Yeah, pushing, but here's the problem. They try to push medication so quickly. That's the first remedy is just here, take pills, take pills. And yeah. I've seen a lot of instances where that's made the problem worse. A hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was one of those warriors. I mean, I got severely wounded in 04. And then I was in the hospital 18 months, had 46 operations, 23 blood transfusions. So when I got out of the hospital and went to meet up with my fiance, then at the time my fiance, I was a full-fledged drug addict. It wasn't anybody's fault, just the way it was. That said, it was very easy for me to get refills of my medication. And you're, you can bet your farm that I abused them greatly because that's how I dealt with my new reality. That's how I established my new norms. And so then, by the grace of God, I was able to come off of these drugs. And when I did, this whole post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury thing reared its ugly head and became mm -hmm. very real things. And so it was fighting a whole new battle all over again. And that's why I always say, and I know this from firsthand experience, physical pain reminds you you're alive, but mental pain will test your will to stay that way.